In today's video, I wanted to talk about when to be concerned about your range of motion, knee bending or knee straightening, and when to be concerned about scar tissue formation and when to consider the MUA. This is a very common question that I'm seeing in our Facebook support group and clients are emailing me about their concerns with their range of motion. So I wanted to cover this information in a detailed video. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Samantha Smith. I am a physical therapist and a knee replacement specialist. I deal with the complex cases now. I specialize in complex revisions, scar tissue problems, knee bending and knee straightening issues, chronic pain and knee stiffness. Typically when people feel stuck in their recovery, they go online, they find me and that's where I can step in and help. So in today's video, we will talk about this very common question with knee bending and when to be concerned about your knee bending. The general theme of the concern looks like this. Someone will email me or post in the Facebook support group and they'll say something like this. I'm eight weeks post-surgery. My knee is bending to about 105 degrees, but I just feel stuck. My knee is so stiff, it's tight but I'm doing all my PT exercises. I'm stretching three times a day. I haven't missed a PT appointment. My PT is pushing on my knee and helping it bend, but I'm just not making any progress. And now my surgeon's recommending the MUA. Does anyone have any advice, any exercise ideas or stretching ideas? What should I do? Should I do the MUA? So that's the general theme of the concern. So when I hear a concern like this, my immediate thought is first, I can fix this. Second, this person just needs a new exercise program to follow because they're just dealing with muscle tightness. Only about 3% of people truly struggle with scar tissue. And these people really struggle to make progress past six weeks post-surgery and their bend is below 90 degrees, sometimes around 60. But that's a really big generalization and it really depends on what type of PT they've been receiving and what their exercise program looks like, what their resting schedule looks like. Typically, we can turn even this story around and make progress with knee bending with the right program. So if you are past 100 degrees of knee bending, Typically, I'm not concerned about knee or for scar tissue with this particular person. I'm mo mostly concerned about muscle tightness and what your daily activities are looking like, what your PT stretches and your PT appointments look like, and what your resting schedule looks like. Most of the time, people are just doing way too much during the day. They're over, over aggravating the knee and they are going to PT and they're maybe doing too many strength exercises. The PT is pushing on the knee and stretching the knee creating more pain and more swelling. Typically, the patient isn't resting enough with ice and elevation. There are so many things that we can do to change and improve this specific situation. So when should you do the MUA? Again, this would be for a very specific person who's really stuck with their knee bending and hasn't been able to make any progress within those first six weeks after surgery. But it does get tricky when people ask me, should they do the MUA or not? Because they have to be willing to change their exercise program and follow a pretty strict resting regimen to see if it's truly scar tissue or muscle tightness that they are dealing with. Usually we can find the answer to that within like four to seven days of following a different exercise routine. And then there's also this sweet spot with performing the MUA. Most surgeons like to do them within six to 12 weeks post-surgery for the best results and to just reduce any risks of the procedure. So if your surgeon is giving you a few weeks to work on knee bending before doing the MUA, I would highly, highly recommend doing my knee bending course to get you on the right exercise program and the right resting schedule. So that brings me to the question, well, what should I do if my knee is stuck? What are the exercises that I need to do? Unfortunately, there isn't just like a series of exercises or stretches that you should follow. It's more about the planning of the exercise program and the planning of your resting schedule. So this is exactly what I teach in my knee bending course. I teach you how to reduce pain, swelling, and muscle tightness within the first three days of the course. I ask you to follow a specific schedule 
um, and I have you elevate and ice and then you do a series of gentle exercises and stretches within those first three days. Typically people in the knee bending course are seeing a significant improvement in their knee bending after those first three days. If you improve within those first three days of the program, then there's your answer. You were just dealing with a very angry knee and very angry knee or muscles that were limiting your knee bending. And again, this is the story for about 96% of people. The muscles are just too tight and they need some time to calm down. So that is what I teach in the knee bending course. After the third day of the course, we then move to more challenging exercises to help strengthen the muscles that bend the knee, that's the hamstrings. And then we work on stretching the quads. Those first three days, the quads finally get a chance to calm down. So stretching the quad is so much easier. And I'll show you a variety of stretches. And some of them you, you probably have seen before, like a seated knee bending stretch, but I'll give you other techniques to help move through any muscle tightness or pain. Also in the course, we don't just stretch the quad to help bend the knee. We also work on stretching the hip, the ankle, and even the spine. All of these joints really do affect knee bending. So if we can hit all the joints surrounding the knee, that gives your knee a better chance to bend easier. So this is why I developed the knee bending course. And the same principles do apply to knee straightening. If you are struggling with both, knee bending and knee straightening, you can do both courses at the same time. I have a knee straightening course. So if you feel stuck with your bending or straightening and you've been told you may need to do the MUA, if you have a couple weeks to work on your range of motion, please look into my courses at succeedcourses.com. There are a ton of reviews on the site too where you can, you can read about other people's um, experience with the courses to see if it's the right fit for you. I'm also available via email if you have any specific questions about the course. But again, this, this is my specialty. This is exactly what I do all day long. I work with people who are just feeling stuck in their recovery whether it's with range of motion or if it's knee pain or if it's stiffness or any other of those common issues after a knee replacement. This is a really, really tough recovery and we need more resources out there to help people get their life back after their knee replacement. So I'm happy to be that resource and help as many people as I can. Hopefully this video was insightful and helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.